Hello and welcome to Disney Dreamlight Valley. I'm loving this game. I've put over probably 50 hours already, maybe 60. I am not keeping track, to be honest. I'm losing time like crazy. But this game is super fun. And today I want to just give you a quick tip that I discovered yesterday. Uh, and I, I haven't seen anybody talk about it. And I think it's going to be extremely useful for newer players. So, you know there's locations... Pretty much every location has like a half of the location uh, separated where you can't get. Like for example here, you cannot cross this bridge because of the mushrooms. I mean, obviously once you upgrade your watering can, you can. But until you do that, which is really tough to do, this, there are some pretty advanced quests. You're stuck only accessing half of the location. And... My main problem with that, if, if you need to collect resources that are only for this biome, for example, mushrooms for the current biome, like there's just not enough mushrooms in, in, in one half. You need access to both halves. And thankfully, there is an easy way to get to that half without breaking the mushrooms. Let me show you. Uh, what you need to do is to uh, unlock the well in the area. That's very important. Once you unlock the well, here it is, you can actually go to your inventory, go to furniture, and then uh, click out of it, and you'll be able to actually move things around. So what you need to do is to grab your well and just place it on the other side of the river in the location where you can't actually normally get. Here we go. And now, once you go to the map, you can actually teleport there. And here you go. You're here. You can collect all the resources your heart desires. Look at this little dino. That is cool. I did this trick yesterday to get more mushrooms because I needed lots of mushrooms for the quest. You can get it. Uh, uh, you can collect dark wood because you're going to need so much dark wood. Let me tell you right now another tip. Bonus tip. Subscribe, by the way, because bonus tips are very, very valuable. If you see dark wood, you pick it up. Look at this quest that I have right now. Rustic Clock Tower. 100 hardwood. And the thing is, every single quest... I mean, most of the quests will ask for hardwood. They don't ask for any other wood for some reason. Hardwood. I mean, and softwood. But softwood is so easy to get. It's literally everywhere. Uh, so, th I think this method is going to be extremely useful to collect resources that uh, might be abundant on the second half because you never pick them up. They just keep spawning there. Like, look how much dark wood I just found in this area. You can get the chests. You can get extra rocks to, to hit. You can do a lot of things. And it doesn't just work on this location. It's going to work pretty much anywhere. We can do the same, let's say, in Sunlit uh, Plateau. Let's, let's go teleport here. Well, that's not what I clicked, but okay. That was weird. We have the teleporter here, and uh, I won't, let's say, cross that bridge. But I can't because of the stupid bones. Well, no problem. Keep the bones game. Bones don't bother me anyway, as they say. I just grab, uh, I, I just grab this uh, well. And I put it right here. Boom! And now, I can go get those cherries. Teleport. Easy peasy. This is a pretty cool exploit. I don't know if they intended for it to work this way, but it does, and I'm grateful. Because now I can, uh, I can have access to more areas to collect resources from. Which is actually, it could be game changing. Could save you so much time. It literally works everywhere. It will work in Forest of Valor. You can do the same thing to uh, basically access this little area that's locked off from the bridges. Uh, I mean, I already have access to it. I don't need to do it because I upgraded my shovel and pickaxe. That's going to be a separate video on how to upgrade your tools to be able to break absolutely everything in the game. Uh, you can get it to, to the Frosted Heights. You, you can literally get anywhere you want. And actually getting to this area of Frosted Heights is going to take you forever because it's like literally one of the most advanced quests to upgrade your pickaxe to that level. So, uh, And it doesn't just work for teleporters. If you didn't know, you can move absolutely anything 
any furniture object in the game. You can move houses. You can move your own house. You can move NPCs' houses. You can move uh, selling stalls. But the only uh, thing is that the stall and I'm pretty sure the teleporter can be moved only inside their biome. So you cannot, for example, place a teleporter from a sunlit plateau into the forgotten lands. At least, at least I don't think so. Let me actually try. That's a, that's an interesting perspective. Yeah, you can't. So it's only it only can be placed in its own biome. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. So you cannot unlock biomes using this technology without paying Dreamlight, but you can unlock these locked areas inside the biome that you already unlocked. Well, that was a mouthful. Unfortunately, you cannot move these things, and I don't even know how you break them. I don't know if there is a way... I mean, there is a way to access this area through the Forgotten Lands. There is an exit right here, so if you unlock both of them, you can actually access this area, but until you unlock it, you might as well get here using the teleporter method. And the thing is, you can even keep the teleporter right here because uh, it's gonna, like, you can still walk to the other side, but if you need this side, you just teleport here. Easy peasy. All right, I hope it was useful. Let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more content on Dreamlight Valley, sorry, my, my nose is clogged right now, so I sound weird. If you want to see more content and more useful tips, don't forget to drop that subscribe, and I'll see you soon. A wonderful day. Take care.